that, folks, we're going to gather the troops here, and we're going to make some homemade peanut butter bacon dog cookies. We ran out a couple days ago, and I'm going to show you how we make them. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to add two cups of spelt flour, which is, you can, you can use white flour, you can use whole wheat flour. We use this. This is... Easier on the digestive for humans. We've been using this for a long time for the dogs, and they seem to do really good on it. So if you have dogs with wheat allergies, this does seem to be really good on their system. Two cups of flour and about six strips of bacon, and I crumbled them up. Cooked bacon. And we're going to put three tablespoons of peanut butter in there. Oh, all the doggies' mouths are salivating here, waiting for the cookies. And then we're going to do three eggs, or two eggs, I'm sorry. Then we're going to do two eggs. Okay, mix it up until you get, in, get, get it pretty mixed up. And you're probably going to have to get your hands in there because that's the only way that... Let me get this started. I'm going to get my hands in there and mix her up. And as soon as I'm done, I'll be right back. We're still mixing her up here. It's starting to come together. Just got a little bit of more mixing to go. And we'll have her all together. It's one of the easiest dog biscuits that I make. And we don't feed very many dog treats around here. If our dogs get anything, it's usually a vegetable. But this is a treat for them. So if it gets crumbly and it doesn't all seem to want to pack in there, you can add a little drizzle of water. That should be good. A couple of tablespoons. And then just keep working it. And then everything usually sticks together pretty good after that. All you got to do is get it into a ball now. And we can roll it out for cookies. Okay, you're going to want to put a little bit of this flour on your work surface. Get down, doggy. You have to wait. And just work a little bit of flour in there because now we are going to roll this up to about one fourth inch or one eighth inch, whichever you would prefer. I just like to pat it down a little bit, knead it up a little bit. My rolling pin, just start rolling. If it gets too sticky, you can always add a little bit more flour on top. But otherwise, this is like one of our most favorite recipes to make easy. And the dogs love it. And it's pretty flavorful. Even we tasted it here. <laughs> it's got all human grade food in it. You can use any kind of cookie cutter you want. I got this little circle one, which is like plenty of cookie for a dog. Let's pop it out. And I got this paper, this parchment paper pan here. You just set them on. And you put them in a 350 oven to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. The longer you bake them, the crispier you get. So if your dog likes soft, they can have soft. If your dog go a little less time, if they like harder, crunchy cookies, which my dogs do, then you can go a little longer. And we'll let the dogs do a taste test. My cookies are all baked, and they're cool, and now I'm going to go get my taste testers so they can all come and try one. Everybody ready? Are we ready to taste? Everybody get over here. Got to sit. Nope. Sit, sit, we're all going to taste. Okay. Sit, 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 stay. Tell me how that tastes, Yashi. Ooh, good, yeah, no, give us a taste. Let's get a taste, ooh. Well, folks, I think it's a thumbs up from the dogs. No more, just one. Thanks for watching.